Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your good friend, Matt. We are back again here today at the only place that we always can be. And as you already know, that is Matt's Wrestling Collectibles right here on YouTube. Today, guys, another episode of New Figure Pickups. This is episode number 37. We're getting there. We're almost on our way to episode 50. I think that might even be a good time to possibly do a giveaway. Maybe that's what we'll do, episode 50 of New Figure Pickups. Maybe there'll be a figure involved in that one that's a... Uh, Giveaway to somebody who's lucky enough to receive that off the YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. I think that's a possibility on its way up there, as well as the fact that we will definitely be doing a giveaway once we do hit that 1,500 subscriber mark. I know I was kind of thinking about doing it at, you know, all these different marks, 1,000, 1,200, whatever it was, but I think 1,500 is what we're going to shoot for. We're going to do a giveaway then. We're probably going to keep doing giveaways maybe every time we hit another 500 subs uh, and, and keep going from there. So, you know, and as always, I appreciate all you guys who have already subscribe to the channel as well as everybody who's always following me and checking in with this uh, on a daily basis and as you already know we did bring you a new episode of uh, Casual Conversation yesterday and now today with new figure pickups. This is going to be uh, hopefully the start of a new week and a new presence of Matt's Wrestling Collectibles here on YouTube. I was really trying to crank out some content and I know I had said that time and time again and unfortunately guys, as one thing leads to another, sometimes you just don't get that, uh, that extra time in the day to get these things done. But now we are devoting a little bit more of that time. We are trying to get a little bit more of that time set aside so that way we can keep these going and keep them, uh, you know, being a daily or almost daily thing. That would be really the goal of the channel as we continue to move forward. So hopefully this is a start of a new uh, trend and uh, a new thing here on the channel. So again, to everybody who's just joining me now and to everybody who has been with me since episode one of New Figure Pickups, as well as everybody who's been with me since the Matty G 401 days, you already know you were on that channel Man, quite some time ago. I'm going to have to upload some more of those videos back to this channel uh, just to give some people a good laugh. But today, guys, we are going to start off. We got a decent little uh, st amount of stuff put away here, set aside. So uh, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good video. And also, too, before we get this started, remember, we're now going to be doing these new figure pickups videos as we always have. But moving forward from that, we're going to have a lot of unboxing and reviews. We're going to start doing some more stuff, some things that I had planned to do as, uh, you know, we already anticipated with this whole move and um, getting into a new place but now that we know that we are staying back over here I think that's what we're gonna have to start doing we're gonna have to start doing it all here and making it work one way or another so we'll see how that goes but today we're gonna jump into it we're gonna get everything going as we always do we're gonna show these off talk a little bit about them but not too much and uh, you know kind of point out some things maybe that we really like or some things that we really dislike right so Without further ado, we're going to jump right into it, guys. First off, we have what is now the first basic that I have received or purchased since they have gone with this new articulation. So uh, I have not opened one yet. I'll have to do that at some point in the future. Check that out. But we've got none other than Series 147, the main event series, Katana Chance. It is her first time in the line figure. So very cool, very excited to get this, and uh, definitely looking forward to adding the other half of the tag team, hopefully sooner than later, but very cool, uh, definitely uh, always excited to get a first time in the line figure, and most of the first time in the line figures I think that are in this collection are actually female superstars, I think that's kind of how uh, I seem to acquire these first time in the lines more than anything else, but it is nice to see the ones that we do get as Time goes on. A lot of uh, oddities, a lot of one-offs, some stuff that might be a first and a last time in the line. Uh, you know, you even look back to as long ago as some of those Nexus figures and same thing there. You know, a first time in the line and a last time in the line. Up next, we're jumping over to the Ultimate Edition. Uh, again, you know, this one really cool. Excited to put it into the collection. Kurt Angle, his Ultimate Edition. Uh, this was just one I happened to come across uh, maybe a little over a week ago. Uh, I was in Walmart. I was doing something. I was there for a completely different reason. Check the aisle. They actually only had one of them. So I was very fortunate to see that it had all the accessories. Everything was there. Nothing was stolen. Nothing's been swapped. I know that that's something that, you know, we see a lot of now and I have been seeing a lot more of it in the, uh, you know, the local area around me, but very cool to get this Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition. I know some people were upset with the torso. They didn't really care for it. 
Um, you know, others have probably said that it's, you know, fitting with the singlet over it. It's not too bad, but, you know, of course, definitely a little bit overly muscular. I know they've used this torso on quite a bit of the Ultimate Editions. You know, a lot of the, um, I believe, Batista, like the Eddie Guerrero, Ultimate Warrior. I don't know if they're the exact same one, but I know it's that very, you know, big, jacked upper body. And, um, but still... A cool figure nonetheless, cool to get Kurt Angle in the uh, era and time of when, you know, I originally first started seeing him, obviously coming into wrestling as he was uh, green at that time, or, you know, uh, a very, uh, very much a rookie in the in this era, so very cool to get this and add it to the collection, but um, of course, also too, with this, we do have the world title, so, you know, not exactly at the very beginning, not at the very, very start, but uh, even still up to when he won the world championship. I want to say Kurt Angle won a world title within like two years of becoming a WWE superstar. So very, very cool to add that. Like I said, you know, a lot of accessories. Uh, I definitely like the extra heads and the crying face and all that other stuff. It's very cool. So happy to add that into the collection. Up next, we've got a couple that are going into a Build-A-Figure series. So uh, WrestleMania 40, we did get the Elites with the Nicholas Build-A-Figure. Very cool. Definitely, again, a one-off First time, last time in the line, as I would assume. Uh, we did get none other than The Rock coming with his head sculpt in here, as well as the uh, World Tag Title, it says there. So that's down there as well. So we do get the World Tag Team Championship in there also. And out of this whole set, you have The Rock, you have Pat McAfee, you also have Trish Stratus, and none other than John Cena. The four of them make up the Build-A-Figure for Nicholas. So uh, right now, I think the only one that is eluding just about anybody is the John Cena, of course, with the announcement of John Cena making this uh, 2025 the final run of his career, the final uh, go at it, I guess you could say, as he's saying, the last time is now. But uh, all of his figures have just completely flown off the shelves, out of retail, out of any place that you can get them. Uh, and I'm hearing the same thing with Hulk Hogan after uh, after we saw Hogan make an appearance at uh, one of the Trump rallies or uh, one of the Trump speeches somewhere. It has been, uh, I guess, a new thing now that all these Hulk Hogan figures are flying off the shelf. So crazy enough. But uh, that is the the world that we live in today. You know, once uh, once a trend gets behind something, it is very hard to stop that momentum. So we are seeing that, like I said, with the Hulk Hogan figures as well as now John Cena selling out just about everywhere and uh, prices are going up. So if you're looking for something, you either got to wait it out and hope for the best or you got to jump on it now before it is too late. But the Rock here, like I said, coming with the... Nicholas build a figure head. He also comes with that world tag title. We are going to open these up on the channel. We are going to build that Nicholas figure. I'm not going to, not sure if we're going to wait until we get the Cena or if we might just do it kind of, you know, throw it together piece by piece and just do the video that way. But either way, we move on to the next one out of that WrestleMania series. And we are excited to get this back. None other than Pat McAfee himself. And uh, we did have his first time in the line. Actually had his first time in the line. And it was the Chase figure in the basic series. And uh, brought it to a show. Said, hey, maybe it'll sell. Maybe it won't. Of course, you know, you put a, a little bit of a crazy price tag on something when you don't want to sell it. And sure enough, somebody did buy it. So... I had to do what I had to do that day, but I knew that they were coming out with this Elite, so I'm very excited, I said, like, you know, to get this back into the collection and to put it back into, uh, you know, building this Nicholas figure. So with this one, we do get what I believe is either just the shirt or it might be the shirt and the torso. I'm not quite sure. Nope. Yep. We do have the torso in there. So the torso is in there as well. The shirt is in there. So very cool. And uh, I think the only thing we're going to be missing, I think the Cena comes with the arms so unless you have a extra set from the dominic mysterio build a figure series i don't think you will be able to do this without anything but that john cena so either way we've got like i said pat mcafee here looking great figure looks awesome looking uh you know very much uh on point with how he is and how he was um coming out dressed and presented at that time more of a uh, potential wrestling match attire but I guess you could say that could be streetwear for him at the same time so for Pat McAfee and again that Wrestlemania 40 series and for the Nichols build a figure we are that much closer and now let's see where do we go next we've got to go in order with these we've got to keep them where they need to be up next is the Trish Stratus she is also part of that build a figure set for Nicholas and uh, with this, you do get the legs. So now we've got the legs. So like I said, the John Cena will be the last of them having to grab that just so that way we can get the arms. So again, with this figure, 
Uh, I do like it. Um, I don't know what it is with these Trish Stratus figures. I know a lot of people have been saying, like, the faces and the head sculpts have been off. And, of course, uh, we go back to what I believe is, like, mm, it's up here somewhere in front of me. We will find it. I think it is, like, Series 88 or 89 Trish Stratus. The, the face was obviously horrible on it. I don't think it looks anything like her, but I did want to get the figure for what the time period represented. I do think this looks pretty good as far as, you know, what timeline and, and era it is coming from. So I do think it, it does fit pretty well. Uh, but even with the newest one that we saw that is coming out, um, I believe uh, it might already be out actually, but it's uh, that Elite 111, I think. I could be wrong. Elite 111, Elite 112. It's, uh, again, you know, kind of, it, it does look like her, but it also kind of doesn't. So I'm not really sure if eventually they will get some of these formulas down. I mean, God, look at the Bret Hart's that we've gotten. Some of them are just, uh, look nothing like them. I don't know why they can't get some of them down. Maybe it's just a, uh, you know, it's an error within the machine that scans these people. And maybe it's uh, just something that it certain aspects, it just can't seem to correct itself. But with this, again, like I said, now we add the legs to that. So we are just waiting on eventually that Cena. And that Cena will be the answer to completing that Nicholas Build-A-Figure. And now, as we go through this and we're talking about Build-A-Figure sets, I don't know. Do we wait? Do we save it? Do we hold off? Now, nah, let's just jump right into it, right? So we're going into the next Build-A-Figure set. This is the Referee John Cone Build-A-Figure set, and uh, it is SummerSlam. It comes with X-Pac, as shown here. We've also got Kane, Lex Luger, and The Undertaker that make up the set. They make up this whole Build-A-Figure. Very cool to see that we're starting to get um, some characters that I think are much needed. You know, referees, people that still play an iconic role that might not get a figure just in a series or in some type of exclusive. So it's very cool to see these happening. I really am trying to get that Teddy Long as well. Uh, the Adam Pierce that's coming out. Uh, still trying to complete the Doc Hendricks. And, uh, you know, that's uh, that's one that I've been working on for a while now. I think we are missing uh, one piece left of that or two. So we definitely are trying to figure out how to get those in the near future. But this is pretty cool. Uh, I know a few people were not too thrilled with the fact that uh, I guess it seems like we're getting X-Pac and Six a lot. And, uh, you know, we're getting um, a lot of refreshes of uh, re-releases almost. I don't want to call it a re-release, but, you know, attires that are very similar or are, uh, you know, off by a very minor difference. I was excited to get this. I already do have um, a DX X-Pac, but it is also still got that black and the red and the white in it. So, in the future, I would like to get back to getting a green, white, and black X-Pac. But we also do have the uh, 1, 2, 3 Kid in that Raw 3-pack. And uh, now we have this one here. And I do want to say, I think I have one more in the collection. I just can't think of which one it is. But nonetheless, very cool. I'm excited to get this and, uh, and again, put those, you know, build a figure together. So for this John Cone referee, this does come with the torso with X-Pac. So again, like I said, we will be posting that on the channel. These will be... Um, individually you know putting them together building the figure and kind of going over it and showing those off at that time up next we have out of that same SummerSlam set we've got the undertaker and with the undertaker you get the arms and all of the extra hands and accessories which is really really cool um again you know you get the one counts the two counts the three counts uh you get the open palm for coming down on the mat so very cool and you get a set of each of them so uh again you know now you're talking it's uh Four sets of hands, not to mention the ones that already come on the arm. So five sets with the John Cone figure, which is pretty cool. But this Undertaker is definitely a different one. Uh, you know, again, some people really liking it, some people not. I do like it. I like that we're getting something a little different. I thought the, uh, you know, oddity head scan, if I could call it that, is uh, a cool add-on. It's definitely a nice piece, and it's nice to see different things being put into these lines. I know we also saw that with the Rock, I believe, in the Monday Night Wars, coming with that, you know, eyes rolling head scan, which was really cool. And, um... Like I said, you know, it makes something a little different to what we're, we're what we're used to anyway. So, up next to complete those Brothers of Destruction, we've got the SummerSlam set with Kane and Kane coming with the John Cone head. So uh, we actually might be able to complete this already because I do believe that I have an extra set of legs. So we might be able to just complete this and then uh, sell off the legs from the Lex Luger when we eventually do get that. 
being that he was the one that sold out. And obviously with these sets, guys, there's usually always going to be that one figure that sells out, sometimes two. And I always say that depends on who the head comes with. Um, so usually you see the head scan figure being the one that sells most of the time being sold out. And then there's always that other one, whether it's the two-in-one deal where you got the most desirable figure with the head scan. And then sometimes you have the most desirable figure and it comes with, you know, one of the least desirable body parts. But you still are going to buy both of them. So sometimes one or two of these get sold out. The Luger being the, the one on this one at the time. Cena being the other one on that WrestleMania 40 set. But the cane does come with his head. And that is pretty cool. So, you know, we definitely have that to put together and get going. So, like I said, we'll get these on the channel very soon. Going to be unboxing them. Showing them off. Doing a little bit of a review. And putting those Builder figures together. And, uh... Let's see here. Up next, we have none other than one that I thought was really cool. I thought it was a little weird because we get the picture of him with the title, but we actually did not get the UWF championship with this figure. It came a series or two later now with uh, what is the Big Boss Band, Big Bubba Rogers, I believe is... Uh, what it is under the the legends uh he does come with the uwf championship and uh so you know cool to see it here on the photo but um you know definitely weird that we didn't receive it with it but this also does have quite the uh you know collection of accessories in here and we get a little bit extra with this but none other than terry gordy coming out of elite series 108 and like i said with this figure we do get a lot you get an extra set of hands you do get that uh menacing blade of an axe and uh it also does come with another head scan that is also connected to this uh this cloaking drape. I don't know if it's actually connected to it, but that cape that it does come with because he also was the executioner. So you do get a two in one figure with this for the loose collectors out there. I guess it would be cool because then you can make both of them if you want and uh, display both of them for the inbox collector like myself, maybe down the road. If I happen to get one of these again, I might, you know, put that together in the package and then, uh, you know, re package it as that figure, but very cool. Uh, definitely something that I was excited to see. You know, now if uh, we are just waiting on, I think it would be Buddy Rogers, I think, um, which I don't understand, you know, of course, I don't know what the uh, extent of the contract would be with that or licensing, but we do already have Michael P.S. Hayes. We now have Terry Gordy, and, uh, you know, if we can get that Buddy Rogers, that would be amazing to be able to have the Freebirds back and running again in Mattel. So looking forward to that. Hopefully, again, like I said, you know, first time in the line for this one. So uh, coming up down the road, who knows? You know, maybe it'll be a little bit of time before we see it. Maybe it'll be a build a figure. Maybe it'll be something. Who knows? But it would be awesome if we could ever see that Buddy Rogers, especially in the Mattel line, and uh, you know, finally complete that trio yet again. The last time that we did get the Free Birds was way back in the Classic Superstar line. They did make a three pack of them with uh, Michael Hayes. Terry Gordy and Buddy Rogers and uh you know even that pack was on my list of random things to acquire quite, you know quite some time ago but then we had this announcement of Terry Gordy and it was kind of like okay so now we got two out of the three you know just to have a Michael P.S. Hayes and Mattel I was going to buy that three pack again just to be able to have that three pack to be able to have the Terry Gordy to be able to have that Buddy Rogers but you know, now we got two thirds of it, so I'm not really sure how I want to go about that. If it comes down the, you know, down to it down the road, maybe I'll buy that figure loose. As much as I love having a package for everything, at that point it's kind of like, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to have the three pack again? Do you want to just have that one figure? There's a lot of options out there, right? So, um, up next is the one and only basic figure. We've got none other than Ashanti Adonis. And uh, I will say one thing that I did do and I should not have was quite some time ago. And time and time again, I kept passing on that top dollar. I kept passing on him. And uh, unfortunately now... I've passed too long because he has made his debut somewhere else. He is doing his thing somewhere else. And now people are trying to get those figures. So, of course, the top dollar figure, uh, not one that I was able to acquire as of right now. But we do have Ashanti Adonis here. And uh, hopefully we will have B-Fab and that top dollar very soon. And Hit Row will be back on the move so uh but a very cool figure awesome attire you know it's always cool when you see a little bit of extra in these basics and uh this is also now the second figure right i think this is it 
This is the second figure. So we just had that katana chance, and this is the second figure now with that new articulation added to the set um, to the collection. So hopefully we will see uh, at some point open one of them, figure out just how good they are, how uh, how much they have evolved. As I have seen some great videos on them, so hopefully we will uh, do that very soon. Put that up on the channel as well. Get a video on that and. Um, Got a whole bunch of videos coming up, especially with these builder figures. So looking forward to getting all of this out there to you guys on the channel. And uh, like I said, also looking forward to getting Top Dollar and B-Fab get Hit Row back together. It's a must. We definitely got to get it to the collection. But guys, this is it. We're going to wrap it up here. This is going to be the last one, the last thing. And I'm actually very surprised here at just how large the packaging is for this. I, uh, for some reason, thought it was going to be a lot smaller. But this is uh, none other than the AEW Commentators Pack. Uh, very very cool. Uh, I think this is an exclusive or no, I don't think it's an exclusive I think it might have been a ringside exclusive. I have to double check on that But uh, it is a very cool pack. It's got the you know announcers table in front of you You got the three monitors it comes with three headsets um, The table and everything looks great the backdrop behind it I believe like double extends to uh, twice the size of what it is in the length of the box so very cool and of course, you know, like I said, this is uh much uh, larger than I expected as far as the packaging would be. Uh, I thought this was going to be a lot smaller, but I guess when you think about the three guys sitting behind it and it all making sense for it to be, uh, you know, together, I guess you do need a little bit more room. So, but very cool on the back. We've got Excalibur. We've got Tony Schiavone. We've got JR, Jim Ross. So very, very cool here. And uh, in the front, we've got a couple of pictures on these monitors. We've got Kenny Omega with uh, Don Callis out there it looks like he is holding the AEW world championship we've got another uh let's see here it looks like potentially luchasaurus putting somebody through a table and then on the other one we've got uh what appears to be powerhouse hobbs doing a uh little bit of a uh, backbreaker spine breaker to orange cassidy so that is what you have on the monitors but a very cool piece a very cool pack and um at some point, who knows, maybe this one will have to get opened up and, you know, put everything together and put the uh, put the commentators with it and see how that all works out and how that looks. But so anyway, guys, now we're, we're starting to creep in over here where we're running out of room. And that is it for me. The box is empty. That is uh, been another episode of New Figure Pickups, you know, running down what we have gotten over the past couple of weeks. So... Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and uh, you know, like I said, if you haven't already, get over to the channel, hit that subscribe button, check me out, check out my other videos. I'm going to be posting new content, hopefully daily or close to it at this point moving forward. And as always, if you could, leave a comment, leave a like. It helps me out tremendously. It boosts me up in those YouTube algorithm things and all that other crazy stuff that they love to talk about, right? So, but if you could do that, it does help me out absolutely tremendously, and I greatly appreciate it, guys. So, Without further ado, this has been New Figure Pickups, episode number 37. And for myself, obviously, you know who I am. It is the man in the seat sitting here in Matt's Wrestling Collectibles, the world that surrounds me in this room, right? For myself and the entire YouTube channel of Matt's Wrestling Collectibles. Obviously, guys, it has been great. It has been a pleasure to bring this to you yet again. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until the next video, stay tuned, stay safe, and I will see you all there.